not uh, working as perfectly as it should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tear into the starter and to try to clean the, the inside of the starter. Um, I think I need to remove this guy here. Okay, one screws, two screws, and then um, three screws. And then I should be clear. So only three screws to remove. And then I'll take this starter to take it to inside to clean it, okay? Because I think um, something may have gotten into the inside and it's preventing my starter working properly. Uh, okay, so now it's more like every three, four times I get a little bit of... Uh, um, you know, non-stop, three, three, four cranks, I may have one, uh, not, uh, starting, okay, so, that's what I'm gonna do, remove one screw, two screws, and then three screws to remove this starter. So it turned out, I removed this screw is not enough, and this second screw and also this um, this knot connect the um, battery positive. There's still another screw hiding behind this. Uh, I think it's solenoid uh, solenoid here. So no here. So I'm gonna have to remove. have to remove this thing by unscrew this clamps, this screwdriver here, slotted screwdriver, and this slotted screwdriver behind. And then I'll be able to pull this thing out of there and be able to access that final screw that um, locked this starting motor to the uh, Johnson 90 horsepower engine. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be unscrewing this one slot to the screw here and also the one slotted screw down there. These two screws to remove this uh, starting solenoid and then uh, I'll be able to get to the starter uh, screw behind it. Starting motor screw uh, behind this solenoid. Okay, so that's what I'll be doing. Get a screwdriver. Got the two uh, slotted the screwdriver off the engine body. Now you can see that. Um, let me. Yeah. Now you can see that uh, screw locking the starting motor is exposed, and I can uh, get my uh, um, screwdriver or uh, yeah, my uh, yeah not uh, um, driver to get down to this uh, screw here and then unscrew this I'll be able to pull the starting motor off okay that's the final one success I've got this uh, starting or um, starter off the boat uh, motor so I'm gonna take it inside and uh, Troubleshoot this uh, starter now, or clean this uh, starter now. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. So this guy is coming out.
Okay. So now it's time to separate. Oh, I need to separate this thing. Oh, oh, oh. Like they are glued together. I um, loosened the two screws, the two long screws, and I just do this. And these black stuff, probably some kind of carbon just came out. So I'm uh, still trying to separate the front and the back, uh, but uh, it's not, it's not working or it's not separating the two. This bottom piece is supposed to come out and this top piece is supposed to come out too. So I can get to the, the brush and, and the magnetic or the commutator um, in here. But I can't right now, so I'm gonna have to take a break. Oh, if I look closely, I think I can see it's started to um, open up this bottom piece. So I think I'm gonna continue to push it a little bit further, or use some kind of small screwdriver to insert into the the seam here. Hopefully, be able to. Um, Here you go. See that? Started to uh, split open. Ah, there you go. Excellent. Now I can get to the inside of this spider. There's the rag here. So dirty now. Yeah. Okay, finally. I'm loose. And that's the commutator. And this is the inside of the brushing. The brushing all looks pretty. All look um, pretty good, you know. Right? 
um, I'm going to clean this out. Yeah, but um, other than that, um, looks all looks pretty good. Okay, let's uh, start uh, cleaning this junk. Okay, I'm gonna try cleaning this junk. And then, uh, let's see this. Oh, there's a, a little bit of magnetic, magnetic in this. So. Magnetic, as you can see, it's uh... now. I what I don't know is I don't know if I can separate um, this piece, this top piece, just like I separate that bottom piece. So I don't know if this is one piece. or two separate pieces, just like the bottom. Um, 
in any way. So I took this apart, apart, and I think I found a problem. Um, the problem is at the base of this screw here, or at the base of this brushing here. The brushing are all in great condition. I mean, there is no worn out or anything. It's just at the base of this screw here, you can see on the left side where my uh, thumb is pointing, on the left hand side of this screw, I got a lot of, um, I guess, water or whatever at the base of this um, screw. And that's why the electricity is not going, the positive electricity is not going through the screw. Um, the connection is, the positive uh, uh, electricity is not going through this, uh, um, what do you call that, starter as good as it should be. Same thing with this other screw. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, as I'm rotating this, um, um, this um, the base of the starter you can see at the base it's a little bit of dirty as well oxidized same thing with this as you can see so the two screws I just have to unscrew them and clean them and I bet that that will uh, take care of the starting problem because last year the starting was really great um, there's no issue. I mean, every time I crank the motor, it just starts right up. But uh, now, because of the, these oxidized stuff at the base of these two screws, the positive um, electricity is probably not uh, 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 connecting um, to these brushings, uh, brushings as well as they should be. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, gosh, as you can see, this. Uh, uh, starter motor is so dirty. See my uh, gloves here? Without the gloves, my hands will be totally dirty. Okay, you can see all the carbon that uh, dropped from inside of this starting motor. Okay, so be sure to wear gloves when you do this kind of work. That's why it's called cleaning of the starting uh, motor. Removing this now. Removing this screw. Okay. Okay. Screw is coming off. Yeah, you can see. So much gunk and also in there, so I'm gonna clean that as well. So many, you know, gunks in there. Okay, so. Holy cow. That's a lot of junk. broken and 
see that? That's all the carbon that's um, preventing the um, positive current goes through or connect to the uh, brushing, brushing. Now that's after this cleaning, I'm sure it's gonna send this uh, starting motor to back to like perfect condition. One start, the motor was one crank, the motor will start right away. See all the black stuff that all needs to be clean out that black stuff. Okay, now I just need to clean this. And also clean this and then I'll be in business.